I've been asked a few times to sit down one-on-one -on -one to talk about the acting market here in the Bay Area and I always think like I, I don't do I even know anything that would be helpful? And then I just started writing down things I know about the acting market here in the Bay Area. I thought, wait, I would love to have known all these things when I first moved here to get me started, to know how to navigate. So this quickly turn is turning into a six part series. So today I'm gonna just tell you guys my process, like a, a few minutes of um, what happened to me in the Bay Area and why I decided to become an actress based out of San Francisco and LA. And then the other videos are going to be about agencies, casting offices, theaters, training, where to act on camera here in the Bay Area, where to meet people. But please know that this is my experience. There are for sure actors that live in the Bay Area that are able to book a lot more things than I can. Maybe their agents have more connections. Maybe they just have more connections in general. Let me tell you about my story today. When I first moved to the Bay Area, it was to go to Cal State East Bay in Hayward, and that's where I earned my BFA in acting with an option in acting and dance. And uh, then after that, basically I had a pretty good understanding of acting, like a basic understanding of, of acting. So I started to audition with my professor's advice of looking on Theater Bay Area for auditions and just going to the websites um, for their open casting calls. And so I was doing that and I was not getting any kind of callbacks or affirmations in general that that was the place to for me to be. I just wasn't getting cast in anything. So then I decided to get a Casting Networks account, SF Casting Networks account, and that is when I started booking commercial jobs. And I realized that the commercial jobs were paying me a lot more than the theater jobs. So when I started booking jobs on SF Casting, commercial jobs and indie films, student films, I got the confidence to finally apply for representation in the Bay Area. And I had a meeting with two agencies it was nilo and mdt and um, they both after the meeting wanted to sign me and the process to audition for them or you know talk to them about potentially representing me was pretty easy they asked me what my goals were as an actress what type of things i wanted to audition for looked at some of my photos had me perform sides from my commercial and then they were like okay we want to sign you Ultimately, I decided to go with MDT just because they had been around for a lot longer at that time. Nilo had only been around for like three or four years, but the San Francisco acting market, at least in my experience, is very commercial heavy, very industrial heavy for all those tech companies. And there are really great, amazing filmmakers in the Bay Area, but they're indie films or student films, and you're not gonna make a lot of money off of that. And uh, so that's when I decided to figure out how to make working in LA and San Francisco work for me because this was not cutting it. The San Francisco Bay Area, California in general, you know is expensive. So to be making even $1,000 a week is not gonna cut it if you want to live above poverty. Here's some things that I would advise you to do if you are acting in the Bay Area and I will go into detail into each of these more in upcoming videos. But the first thing is to please make your own work for the in-between times. Sometimes I won't get a single audition in a week. And when you're not doing anything creative, you really get stumped down, especially if you have a day job and you're like, what am I doing? I'm not even actually acting. So that's why I created a YouTube channel because I really needed something creative to do. And don't be afraid to get representation because when I finally got the courage to go do it, I realized San Francisco is very commercial heavy. My look is a lot of the reason why somebody might cast me in commercials. So don't be afraid, get your actor package ready and go and look for an agent. Find an acting class you like in the Bay Area because not only will you, of course, stay sharp in your acting abilities, but you will also find a lot of other creatives where you'll eventually create films with them, plays, and just learn about what they're doing, what your peers are doing, because I learned a lot from other people and also whenever I used to go to casting offices to audition, a lot of actors would also ask me, who are you with? And I would assume that they are looking for an agent or maybe they're just not happy with theirs. Audition for a short, 
play. There are a surprising amount of shore play festivals in the Bay Area and you will be able to meet so many people through there because there's the writers for the shore play, the director, the um, stage manager, all of the actors, all of the people that come to see those shorts. A lot of agents get invited by the actors to come and see them just so they're up to date on like work that they're doing and they'll end up seeing you. That's actually how one of my best friends got an agent because the agent was in the audience. He was related to somebody that was in the production. He came and he was like, who is that? I want to talk to her. And she got signed. And the same people that are in the theater community are very often also interested in doing on camera things. Get a casting networks account because that is where you're going to be able to find your own commercials to be in, uh, background work, industrials, student film. So you're going to be able to get a lot of experience auditioning on there and also booking gigs. If you want to get higher paying jobs or you want to be in the productions that come into town, like 13 Reasons Why was here for a few seasons, you're going to need an agent. And that agent is likely only going to be able to get you roles that have a few lines because a lot of the casting for those big shows happen in LA or New York or other places. But ideally, you would live in San Francisco if you can, Berkeley or Oakland, but the more affordable places are places like Hayward, which not a lot of people want to move to, and it's a college town. Figure out a flexible job that can get you more income because especially at the beginning, you might not make enough money to live here and uh, <laughs> You need money, you just need it. So if you don't come for money, if you don't have money, like you can definitely find different jobs on the weekends or the evenings because most things do film Monday through Friday during the day. So find a flexible job. I've always told people I'm an actress and that I need some kind of flexibility. If they don't like it, I keep looking. It's harder than just, you know, walking into a Target and being like, I need a job. I'm flexible. I'll come whenever you need me. Of course, it's going to be harder for you to be able to find somebody that is willing to give you that flexibility but find that and if you want to be on more tv and film i would suggest to do what i'm doing and live in san francisco and la and figure out how to make that work in my experience i take on office jobs here and there again i told them i'm an actress so they're very flexible with me and i try my best when i'm there i'm 100 percent there and uh, i also have a very encouraging intelligent good with his money partner and his name is Dwight but true you can do it it's not easy by any means duh or else like everybody would be doing it because acting is so much fun let me know if you have any other questions specifically on the Bay Area because I am gonna be filming a lot of videos relating to it coming up and at the end of every video I feature another channel this is Esmeralda she makes makeup lifestyle and fashion vlogs so go check her out and here is the video about how I got my agent in San Francisco